Welcome back to Assassin's Creed. Welcome okay, back, one. Desmond. You'll yes. be happy to hear there's actually good news for once. Yeah. Huh? I've managed to locate a power source, and it's relatively close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Manhattan. Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's got to be looking for us. Obviously, it's not safe. Can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky, though, can we? We need that power source. Besides, I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe. The Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage the van, too. But there's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. <laughs> yes. Local utility companies have assured the public that they're completely prepared for the upcoming solar maximum. Disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. Don't if know about that. Knew. Yes. What's a this? fidget spinner. A remote operated camera. It'll provide us with a feed while you're on mission. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. At this time of night, direct infiltration is going to get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? Uh oh Can you hear me? Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Yep, reach you just fine. Now why don't you power up the camera? I've got pictures. Running diagnostics. Good camera, man. Oh, the hell. Perfect. I've got a nice, strong signal. I'm getting motion sick. Ah, oh, it's fixed. Nice. Let's find a way up here, then. What's your where you are in New York? Oh, this is cool. Just climbing through the... Well, what is this? Like, a, just a construction site? Oh, there's a hole still. It's a lovely Ooh. view. <laughs> Seriously, Sean? Fuck you. Oh, let's climb the crane. This is uh, exciting. Really casual. Jesus. Look on the bright side. No security to worry about. And on the not so bright side, the slightest misstep means you're effectively at the taste. Shut up, Sean. <laughs> I like Sean. Firm, yeah, of course. Almost there, Desmond. Once you reach the top of the lit up crane, you should be high enough to make the jump. Should? It'll be fine, don't worry. <laughs> well, you might want to worry a little. I'm pretty sure she was high when she was running the numbers. Sean! A joke. It was a joke. Or was it? Yeah, and of course we're climbing the outside of the protected ladder thing. Oh, here we go. Jump when you're ready, but wait for my signal to open the chute. Timing's really important here. Too soon or too late and you'll miss the building. All right, let's jump. Whee! Now, open your... Uh oh. Too late. Or too early? Ah, too late. Or can we make it? Nice. There it is, there it is. Ow we That wasn't so bad. So you must be Desmond. Oh not exactly what I expected. But I guess your kind doesn't have many options these days. Who are you? Ask your father. Now give me that. I don't think so. 
Look, I'm not supposed to kill you, but the boss man didn't say anything about fucking you up. So you've got to the counter. Oh. <laughs> what a loser. So who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but it turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this, it doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. I've set up some cameras topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. Alright, let's get back in the Animus. Good luck, Desmond. Thank you, Rebecca. These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the Crown and its subjects frays. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies Connor. have they already spun? Spare For a all moment. These things I must determine. Of course. For Have only by knowing my enemy can I hope to stop What is it? Xing Bao, or Rope Dart, if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Yun to... Damn. <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. Ganondogo. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse! We cannot oppose the Sachem, but you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He is called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston. Making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist upon this course of action, seek out Sam Adams in Boston. You'll be able to help. All right, that's a good bidder. Done. When my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. Yes, indeed. We are in the frontier. All right, let's talk to the peg leg guy. They recommended that for us to do so. Do what do I owe this great honor, Captain? The letters you speak of, what are they? Oh, now you want to know. Captain Kidd's letters, boy. He hid a great treasure somewhere and sent letters to four of his crewmen along with a strange piece of leather. If you find the men, you'll find the scallywag. It's that easy, tis. May I see them? <laughs> you might be a captain, but you're not too bright, are you? I'll barter with them. You give me some trinkets I like, and I'll give you a letter. Building my own treasure cache, see? Trinkets? Like what? Where? Use your imagination, Captain. There's interest and swag all over the frontier. Okay. What you got for me? Ah, you brought me some good pieces. That's worth a letter to be sure. Here you go, Captain. I will be back for the rest. Okay, so we need six uh, trinkets more. Let's get to our next mission. William Johnson, huh? Bam! Oh, uh, here's some more bears to hunt. A lot of bears, like six of them. Let's air assassinate them. And that's two. Come on, die, bear. Uh, 
and these will make us some good profit. We're also gonna collect uh, our view, every viewpoint in the region, in the frontier. Frontier is quite big, it's like the main, main, uh, yeah, the main hunting region and stuff. And another bear, oh my god, are you kidding me? Spares for everyone. Also doing some hunting just around the place. I'm not gonna show you everything, but let, yeah, uh, I'm just, I'm, I mean, I'm doing it, okay? And I'm also collecting feathers, of course. I'm gonna let you know when I've collected all of them. Climbing the lighthouse here. And I will be collecting chests in the world, like this one. And we can buy special maps for those at the general store, I believe. Now we get to climb this big old tree. Another tree to climb. And let's climb this tree for the viewpoint. And maybe uh, actually can visit the old village. So let's talk to our old friends here. Alright, there's a fort here. So we need to approach the fort. I guess we need to infiltrate it. Yeah, fine. I destroy the power reserve and kill the fort's captain. Okay, let's try to sneak your way in. Yeah, be fucked up. And let's lower the flank. It was a bit messy, but we managed it. Get out of here. All right, let's buy the feather uh, maps as well. We just bought the uh, chest ones as well. Oh, we have some more courier missions, which is just walking simulator, but okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna deliver these letters, let, let you know when I've delivered them all. And we have another tree to climb, yet again. Oh, we found ourselves another fort. Oh, and a kitty. Come here, kitty. Okay, kitty is dead. Now we can get to the fort. Kill this guy first. What a kitty, huh? Just need to find a way inside. Alright, I can find no way in uh, to be stealthy, and we don't have really any stealth tools. So I'm just gonna go ham. Ah, oh, the bow is working nicely. Okay. <laughs> bow is pretty overpowered, it seems. Yeah, come here. There we go. There we go, it took three hours to kill him. And now we just need to blow up the bone reserve. I'll just place a barrel here. Bam, there we go. All right, let's buy the trinket map so we can find all the 
trinkets quickly. And you know why also not just buy the almanac page map. Then we have all the maps for all the collectibles and we don't have to, well, uh, I guess search for them manually. Another tree. Creative Ubisoft. Alright, we got another fort here to conquer. Same story as before. Captain Dead, there we go. And this is our last messenger like item we have here, I think, in the frontier. Damn. Well, that was exciting. I think uh, we collected all the feathers. Yep, pretty much. Yep. What's this then? Talk to this guy. Items. Oh, okay. Just needed to gather those items while well, we have been hunting a lot, so. Uh, Let's settle. All right, so we've completed everything in the frontier already. Uh, I have some special videos coming up with the uh, frontier men, uh, mysteries, the hunting missions, uh, yada yada yada. Uh, collected all the feathers and back legs here. But first, before we go to Boston, we're going back to the homestead and do some trading and upgrade our, our things because we've collected a lot of pelts and things like that and this. And uh, we're gonna sell those, get some uh, convoys going and the like. Let's uh, select some convoys and send them out to earn some money. All right, let's talk to the pack -like guy. Now we've collected all the pack -like in the frontier. Got some more? Let's have a look then. More keepers. Good on you. I'd say that's worth another letter. Nice. Explore Dead Chest Island. Uh, let's talk to him again first, though, because we have 14 What's crickets. he got this time? Let me see. Let me see. A veritable bounty. Shiver me timbers! That'll earn you one of these scripts to be sure. I will be back for the rest. Okay. And now we just need the rest of them. Explore the Octavius. Okay. Let's actually explore the underground a bit. And I want to get all the fast travel points. So we are going to lit every torch. Oh, so this is a dead end. Hey, Old North Church. We found one. There we go. We opened it up. Ooh, what was this then? Is that Illuminati stuff? It lights up as well. I don't know what it means though. It's just because this way, because the arrow was pointing this way. Oh, what's this then? Crown Town Coffee House. Alright. Ah, uh, I, I know how this works. Uh, Christianity to the west. And uh, Buddhism in the east. Bam! Because, well, we just read that file, yeah. Alright. Oh, we need to open this. Why is this locked anyway? Oh, this one is locked from the other side. Okay, interesting. And open the door. Wow, we saw quite a bit. This is, like, bigger than I thought. I don't remember it being this big. Now, I wonder if New York also has an underground system like this, because this is a lot of work. <laughs> just to get all the fast travel points. Okay, we need to climb up here. What is here then? Can't bring the lantern. A lantern, I should say. Beacon Hill. Nice. Just need to pick the lock. There we go. What are we doing down here anyway? Keep out of sight. What are we doing down here, guys? Dying! That's what you're doing, eh? Yes. Oh, King's Chapel. Here's the entrance. There we go. Another, another one of these lanterns. And here's the clue. Okay. Alright. So, women left. And men right. 
law under and masons above. Bam! Another lantern, really? Okay, so the masons are down below, crown on top, feather on left, and the right is men. Bam! There we go. Alright, I think we discovered every uh, every single uh, fast pass, uh, fast travel point in uh, in Boston, and I think there's also one for New York. But uh, we'll see about that then. Where do I get these things then? Paper, hair accessories, soap, toy dolls. Okay, maybe from the homestand. Alright, I'm gonna go around Boston, collect all the almanac pages here and the chest uh, because we bought maps for those, and uh, we have that out of the way. Oh, and there's another fort here. Which fort is it? Fort. Independence, okay. Well, let's get in, shall we? First, we need to kill the captain. Let's just uh, let's jump in from above. Alright, let's go. There we go, that's the entire fort then. Now we need to blow out the power reserve. Blow out the flag. And there we go. And here's another fort. A thick fort. Fort Hill. Let's see if we can find a sneaky way in, otherwise we'll just uh, go ham. I think this is a sneaky way in. Yep. Captain is then. Come on, man. Let's lower the flank. And another courier mission in Boston. Thank you. Thank you. And that was the li final letter in northern Boston. And here's an assassination contract. Our first, I think. Let's see here. Let's talk to this guy. Boston contracts. Yes. Oh, have they showed up on the map now? I think that was the last almanac base in Boston. First assassination contract right here. Bam. I got I mean, that was easy. Is that really all it is to it? Second one here. Third one is over here. I think this is the last one. Yep, there we are. All right, after all that stuff, we can finally continue our main story. Sanctions and demonstrations won't suffice, Sam. We need to act, and I'm talking about more than a sternly worded letter. I sympathize with your frustrations, gentlemen, but surely you can understand my reluctance to kick the hornet's nest. The Tories thing, no matter what we do, might as well make it count. Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Thank you. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Okay. Well, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman, at least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who is compelled to quarter British troops 
Or to my friend whose store was closed because he displeased the crown. The people here are no freer than Surrey. You offer excuses instead of solutions. All people should be equal, and not in turns. It's in turns, or not at all. We must comp... Hey! It's my home, no matter what you thieves called taxmen say! The gums in Parliament who want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves! It's not open for discussion now! Open this door or these men will break it down! Ah! The bollocks! We're coming in! Ah! Oh. I trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. Is that all you have? Let's help him out. Justice for once. I dare the governor to send more. <clears throat> you all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you a nail, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else. Sir. Go back to Sam Adams. Connor, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some taxmen outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands, without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Connor. Head back to the docks and see to the destruction of the tea. If you should need us, return here. Pardon me. Oh, come on, mate. Let's blow it up with a cargo, uh, that, with a powder gang, because that's the original objective. Let's move to the last one. All right, let's get to the next mission here. Hello. Stephon, what is wrong? Where is Sam Adams? Who cares? I've been robbed. Vont me payer ces scélérats de merde. Uh oh uh oh where are you going to get back what's rightfully mine okay what are we doing what are we doing oh look at the some pathetic red goats waiting for a big i will match your face to your all right he's one angry frenchman we all know you have to watch out with angry frenchmen we are not english we are not the king's men we are free the king sends these red goats to push us around. They are not our masters. This is our city. Let's show them who owns it. It's time to fight. Yes, time to fight. Stefan, please stop and listen to me. I've listened for long enough. They come into my home and take my things. 
I will get my revenge. The man responsible for this will pay. His friends will pay. Voilà trop longtemps que je subis ces affronts. Ils vont goûter de mon courroux. You looking for a fight, Englishman? I'll give you what you. There we go. Well, we only have three more seconds in the open conflict. Die, die, die. There, we go. there is a way to fight injustice, but this is not it. Please let it be finished soon. I will match your destroyed, you stupid mackerel. I suppose you want me to tell Johnson his team mm. just spontaneously combusted. Nonsense. Someone's responsible for this, and you will find out who. And if you can't, I'll gut you and find a smarter mongrel who can. What do we do? Create a window. So these are the assassins we can uh, gather, I guess. Estef Stefan is the first one. Assassinate. Oh, here he goes. Oh, bloody hell are you. Ah! <laughs> Why? You have no right to rub people blind. By decree of the British Parliament or not. British Parliament? I worked for William Johnson. Johnson? And his suffering cleanly. Please. Damn. The people seem to have an ear for you. What are the things you lost? The people listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough, which is worth 1,000 times the content of my footlocker. And the English, they can keep my things. You did well tonight. I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me. In place of drink, I offer you my allegiance, for what it's worth. Your aid is welcome, and I am grateful. Now, I need to find Sam Adams. Oh, and we can send them out on missions. So this is the east coast of the US of A and Canada and a bit of Mexico. No, actually no, not Mexico. Um, but yeah, let's first like get all of these zones in assessing control. There's a lot of them. I hear they resolved to send the three ships back, cargo and all. Aye, but Governor Hutchison refuses to let them leave. Wants us to take the tea, pay the duties, and say thank you kindly to the king. The king can kindly kiss my ass. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You can kiss it as well. Enough! What hope have we of resisting if we're arguing amongst ourselves? All right, let's speak to this he's guy over here. He's apt to end up in stalls. What happens now? We wait for the signal. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? I have spent today drawn from one bit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. Cheer up, Connor. For tonight, we are all victors. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. I have an idea. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? 
Ok. Damn it, more guards. We need to turn the crowd's anger to our advantage. Stay the world, Connor, and I will make it so. Let's kill the guards. Missile, missile! What is he doing? Are we going to throw with it? The overboard? Uh oh. We need to keep those bastards at bay while the tea is being done. That, that box was empty, man. Let me help. I'm yours to command. Okay. Alright, let's uh, throw tea in the water. Come on! I need to throw them in the water. There we go. One more. Okay, now we need to air assassinate one with a musket. There we go. Now we need to throw three more boxes into the water. Ooh, there we go. Okay, now we can help him out. There we go. We've done it. Oh, there they are. Oh, they're angry. Oh, we pissed them off. We saved the last one for you. Oh, thank you, man. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Next mission, let's talk to Achilles over here. It is done. Johnson is dead? No. He retreated when we destroyed the tea. Only to hatch some new scheme, I'm sure. You should have killed him. There was no need. Time will tell if you speak the truth. Yeah, he's gonna regret that. Radun Hagedum! Radun Hagedum! Ganondokon, why are you here? Has something happened? William Johnson has returned with all the money required to buy our land. He meets with the elders as we speak. I have begged him to resist, but I fear he shall have his way unless you intervene. How is this possible? We destroyed the tea. The Templars are nothing if not resourceful. You should have heeded my warning. Please, you have to stop him. Of course. Can you tell me where they are meeting? Is he not going to get a lot of canoes to the Ned Johnson's? You got the rocks top. Qua he can see what Neganun had at him again. The God their heart at Qua Gato. All right. We need to get to the other side of the river and let's do it sneakily, we can't be detected.
How? By signing our lines over to you? Then we'll be as one in your debt forever? Sir William may have a point. What hope have we against their black powder and iron? The spirits will guide us as they always have. Did they not guide us here? Yes, that we might unmask the great betrayer. This is a mistake. We should sign. Peace, peace. Have I not always been an advocate? Have I not always sought to protect you from harm? If you wish to protect us, then give us arms, muskets and horses that we might defend ourselves. War is not the answer. We remember, Stanwicks. We remember you moved the borders. Even today, your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed, but false. We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are here to tell you and yours to leave these okay. lands. So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Are you threatening us? Yes. Fear, let's jump across here. There, assassinate him. There we go. Oh no. What have you done? Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye. That we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Are that the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. Tis the way of the world. In time, they'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved you all. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. Aye, because they would not listen. And so, it seems, neither will you. Why? I was not yet the Hagum Sere, and the Hyayu Meskanas is Hagum Haja. Alright, do we need to get out of here? Oh yeah. There we go. And that is Seacon 6 complete. Yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you liked this episode and uh, see you guys next episode, alright? Bye.